today's video i'm going to show you how to make simple buttered potatoes and this is a swahili food mostly made in coastal kenya a complete meal can go with tamarind sauce you can make it your own way and i'm going to do this with an amazing view so stay tuned But first, let's go to the market and get the ingredients and everything that I need for this cooking. I'm getting here at the market. I want a Irish potato. I have to choose by myself. Oh, see, eh, you never think of it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can Mambo. Now we draw 2000. You gonna food color, yeah, yellow. hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is african village cook thank you so much for clicking this video and kindly if you're new and you're seeing me for the first time the second time the third time and you haven't subscribed kindly do so uh, all to my all returning subscribers thank you so much for the support uh, the last week I've been sick but I'm back fully even though I still don't feel well but I can't be you know sick for two weeks straight so thank you so much for clicking the video and this is the new hair I know you've seen it anyway right now I'm here in Kilifi and look at the view guys look at my view wow very nice so I'm here in this amazing, I mean, this this is like 
really magical. So I'm here, right here, to also do their meal. So just stay tuned and watch, enjoy, and you know, click the like button. Yeah, so I'm going to cook as enjoy this beautiful view. So right here, I already have the beef. Let's wash it. I had to remove the first water. So I add just a little. So I have uh, flour, I have mukwaju, this one, this one, you'll see what I'll do with this one, so just stay tuned. Then of course we have the uh, potatoes, yeah, so right now what I'll do first is rest. And of course I have my plate here, I'll use it as my board. Use this. to wash use this one to wash everything because uh, I don't have many things here so I'll just wash my hands first so as usual I normally I cook my beef every beef that I cook I cook it with uh, onions yeah and I'm also going to add the chili because everybody here eats chili just wash it. They use this one to they use that one to fetch water. So here is where I'm going to wash my potatoes. In the coast, there's so many ants and flies. I don't know, I think it's because of the sea. And mostly where there's fish. Here, there's no flies, but there's these little ants uh, walking around. Because I don't have a board, this is how I'm going to cut my onions in my beautiful plate. Cooked 
it's even better. Then black pepper. I forgot to add black pepper when I was boiling it. Today. It smells good already. We don't have anything to wash. Anyway, this area there's no firewood. It's green and it's really hard to find firewood. So this is called mkwaju in Swahili and I'm going to put it here oh, in my chair. Crazy, right? So the drill is putting this thing inside here. First of all, I need to wash it first. And the beef is boiling here. Yeah, and I put them inside like this. Then I do like this. Ili kwa mkwaju.
potatoes, no, the Irish potato. Look at this thing. Just boiling them like this. Then I add salt. It will boil with the salt. Looks like today we are sleeping here. We want to go to Malindi, but this place is beautiful. Oh, I think this is somebody's house. But we need to. I'm still cooking. If I need to explore before the sun goes down, this place is so nice, guys, and I have to share it with you. So kindly just stay with me in the video and see how beautiful this place is. Somebody's sailing. I don't know if you guys can see, but somebody's sailing. So this one is going to boil like this. Then I'm going to peel it off, cut it into small pieces, and fry. Yeah. So it should be like this. This is how I should remove it. But because the water was not full, uh, I'm going to put the ones that are on top to go to the lower end so that they cook. Yeah, so you see like this one, I can remove it and put it here. I just want to put it here so that I can start peeling it off as the rest cook. Yeah, even this one is cooked. Oh, it's so hot. So this is the thing. Have any other thing to use? I'm going to use this cup. So I'm going to add this flour. This is wheat flour. Then I add in some water. No, salt first. Then I add in some water. A lot of water and 
last but not least i'm going to add the food color i know you should use a little but uh, this is my first time doing this whoa The cooking oil should start cooking. I'm going to add in a little black pepper in it. Black pepper can be added anywhere. Yeah. Even in tea. I realized that some people use black pepper in tea. So I'm going to I've, I've watched the coriander leaves. I'm going to cut them and put them in here. Yeah. So I think I should cut it like this. So I should put it in here like this. Or I can just pour it in here. My beef is just down there because I have no, I have nothing to cover with food. So this is just flour, wheat flour, wheat flour and potatoes, salt is here. So I think this one is the one that got cooked well because the rest overcooked.
guys this is the food the sun has gone down but this is how it looks like and this is the mukwaju the sauce that i was talking about so i'm just going to add it here at the side yeah and put this one here so this is the result of the food Ooh, i can't wait to eat uko ni poa lazima tutembe kidogo Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 YouTube. yeah, YouTube na Instagram. Mm. It's getting dark, guys, and with GoPro, dark. When it's dark, it doesn't record really nice uh, views. So, thank you so much for watching this video, and see you in the next. Let me show you the food. Yeah, I was taking a picture and now I had to reduce the size that I'm taking. And this is how it looks like. It's so good. I've tried it. You can imagine, this is Irish potatoes with some uh, Irish potato and wheat flour with food color and some sugar. Like, I know some people add more spices in it, but yeah. So this is it. This is it. So thank you so much for watching and... Mm. See you in the next one.